What is up, friends? Welcome back for another episode of the Book of Boba Fett. Last episode was obviously just incredible from start to finish. Some of the best Star Wars we've gotten recently, and so I cannot wait to see what they do with this episode. Obviously, with the way they left off, I don't know if Mando is going to be in this episode or the rest of the season for that matter, but I certainly hope so because his presence obviously makes anything better just because of how well his character has been built up but i am looking forward to hopefully some more boba this episode obviously last time they probably didn't need to show us too much since he's doing more just organizational stuff preparing for the eventual war but this series has definitely been a treat to watch so far for me at least and it seems like a lot of other people are enjoying it as well and so hopefully you enjoy watching along with me for this episode in particular if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up it helps the video out and of course you can check out the full length reaction on patreon link for that in the description below but without further ado let's get into episode six it's all there we'll leave the specs and take the credits back to Mos Eisley. do you know where you are gentlemen think it through <laughs> he's back let's go you love to see it i'm glad i really liked his character from mando from the mandalorian and these stripes indicate i'm the marshal and out here i'm the one who tells folks what to do <laughs> this is great two episodes in a row we start off with a surprise reveal no laws have been broken far as i'm concerned we can chalk this one up to you guys reading the map wrong think it through <laughs> So calm and collected. Took him out in a split second. What a guy. Get him on board as well, man. Bring in all the familiar faces. Anyone gets lost running spies through Mos Pelgo again will be lost forever. Now load that chest and go. It's worth more than your town. <laughs> yeah, but is it worth more than your life? Because you'll die if you don't do it. What a cool dude. Love seeing him again. And obviously he's gonna play a role if they brought him back. <laughs> oh, the intros are so good in this. Shows you where he stands. He doesn't need the riches. Keep the spice where it belongs. What a frame, dude. Cinematography's off the charts again. But this makes me excited. He's still in the picture. I thought we may not see him again. What? Dude, is that R2-D2? No way! There's no way they tease us with a droid that looks exactly the same, right? Hello, friend. I'm looking for Skywalker. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it. Are we gonna get Luke as well? Whether it's CG Luke or the actual Luke, I don't know. I take anything. This is amazing. <laughs> Dude, just warms my heart being able to see R2 again. <laughs> Those things are so interesting. I love the structure they're building. Don't shut off. Wake up. Hey, I'm looking for Skywalker. He had a kid with him. Oh man, my heart is beating in anticipation. I don't know what we're gonna get. Anyone alive? Certainly got a good system going here. A lot of work being done. It's a beautiful location as well. I could definitely see why they picked to come here. <laughs> oh, yes, we do get him. And he looks fantastic in that shot. Man, this is amazing. I've missed Grogu. Yo, he's learning. His powers are getting better. He's able to control them whenever he wants. Rogu. My 
gosh, dude, Luke looks so good, man. Obviously, I thought he looked decent. I know people had their complaints with when he popped up in The Mandalorian, but man, they've perfected it. How is that possible? That is literally Luke ripped straight from the original movies. Astounding VFX. I don't know if it's VFX or if they just found his twin in the world. Everything about this is perfect. The music, the camera shots. This is what it looks like when a Jedi masters at work. All right, let's go for a walk. <laughs> Such a cute little guy, dude. I wonder if he'll ever grow at all, because he's remained the same size the whole time so far. I want to tell you about someone you remind me of a great deal. His name was Yoda. He was small like you. But his heart was huge, and the force was strong in him. Oh, and they're bringing back the original soundtrack for this too. <laughs> so amazing. Size matters not. That's how he talked. Have you heard anyone talk like that back home? Do you remember back home? Would you like to remember? Man, they're showing him so much too, and you can tell there's some like effects done on it, but it looks so good. Dude, this is back during Order 66. What in the world? He's been around a good minute. I'm not sure I recognize that lightsaber at all, but it might be a character I should know, or at least that's been in the Star Wars universe. Welcome back. The galaxy is a dangerous place, Grogu. I will teach you to protect yourself. <laughs> this is so good, man. Love that look back. Curious if there is some relation to Yoda then. I'm sure Yoda at least knew about him because it looked like they were in the Jedi Temple. You. I didn't expect to see you here. Dude, what aren't they going to give us in this episode? There's so much I've wanted to say, but it's moving from great thing to great thing too fast. I'm here to see the kid. That's why R2 brought you to me instead. What is this place? Will someday be a great school. Grogu will be its first student. I'd like to know how he's doing. Is this where the original teaching was being done? And then obviously the stuff with Kylo happened and Luke left. So that might be it. Interesting to see its beginnings if that is the case. Let us take a walk. <laughs> Jedi's like taking walks this episode. One thing I didn't get to mention before in the moment though was that I thought it was cute how Luke was kind of force pulling Grogu ahead to keep up with them. There is no place in the galaxy more safe than here with Luke. I don't control the wants of others. Then it's my choice to go and see him. If that is what you wish. <laughs> oh, the reunion we've all been waiting for. I can't wait for this. I can imagine Grogu's going to be ecstatic. Are you doing this for yourself? I want to give him this. So he will remember you. As a Mandalorian foundling, it's his right. Perhaps he is a Padawan now. Oh man, don't tell me we're going to get this close and he's going to have to leave him. It's great writing though. Allow me to deliver it. I came all this way. He's right there. Rogo misses you a great deal. If he sees you, it will only make things more difficult for him. Oh, that's so tough, dude, for both of them. I can see where they're coming from on that decision though. Gotta remain focused for this kind of training. Make sure he's protected. A beautiful shot right there. That's so sad though that he doesn't get to see him. He got so close. That's a pretty big decision though for him to let Grogu get that without him showing up. Hard thing to ask. Dang, man, my heart. I hope at some point they get to have a reunion. Time to continue your training. Let's see you jump. Really? That's all you got? <laughs> I don't know. Got a pretty good vertical. It's about the same as my vertical, to be honest. Jump, and as you do, feel the force flow through you. You're trying too hard. Don't try. Do. 
<laughs> Dude, every time they show him, I'm just blown away. And one of the most amazing things is they're shooting his face at so many different angles. Some of them are very complicated to do some VFX work. <laughs> Dude, just the best memories of him training with Yoda. Now the roles are switched. That's an impressive climb right there, dude. I love everything about this. All this footage just feels like a nice warm hug. Through the force, you will find balance as well. Ah, oh, dude, it's hard not to <laughs> tear up when you hear that original music. Holds a special place for sure. Use the force. That's it. Very good. <laughs> yes, man, Luke getting in on the action, too. Always love seeing his lightsaber. Oh, what an amazing shot right there with the reflection in his eyes. This is all so good. I did not expect to get this elite footage dump this episode. <laughs> nice, man. This ball has multiple uses. This is how it works. <laughs> I was waiting for him to get zapped. Always get back up. Very good. <laughs> okay, man, that was pretty impressive. Luke's a great teacher. This is what I was hoping to see with his teaching in episode eight. We got a little bit. <laughs> man, what a fantastic sequence. He's moving pretty quick. His innate talent is coming out. Oh no, I don't know if Luke has any backups, but that one's done. You've taught him well. It's more like he's remembering that I'm actually teaching him anything. What a beautiful line, dude. I love how much Luke we're getting in this episode. The Mandalorian was here. As I told you, two share a strong bond, and you brought him a gift. Oh, are we finally gonna see what this is? I'm very excited. Sometimes I wonder if his heart is in it. So much like your father. Now that's a line I wish I could appreciate even more because I know just from what I've heard, her and Anakin have a partnership or something in the Clone Wars series. Eventually I'll get to that. Will I see you again? Perhaps. May the Force be with you. They do not drop lines like that if they don't intend to have some sort of reuniting, specifically Dave Filoni, John Favreau, based off their work so far. Oh man, that was so good. <laughs> so much better than I could have expected. I wonder if that means we're eventually going to get Luke involved in other projects. I'm here at the request of Fennec Shand. Oh, dude, speaking of reunions, man, this one's gonna be great. The most solid person you could have on your team right now. This is the Mandalorian, Din Djarin. <clears throat> Thanks to him and Chrysanthemum, we now have enough experienced muscle to act as enforcers. <laughs> Let's go, he's back. All it took is a little head nod and they're on the same page. We need foot soldiers. I might be able to help with that. Oh man, I was wondering what we were seeing. Where in the world did they get that skull? And Mando's not just referring to getting some Jawas to help out, is he? <laughs> I 
I know that guy, but do I know him from The Mandalorian or from something else? And I guess it makes sense with the intro we got if he's coming here. I'm looking for Marshal Vance. I don't think you heard what I said. I'll take it from here, deputy. That was a great composed shot right there. Perfectly hidden behind that dude. Getting the whole gang back together. Is that a Naboo starfighter? That's what it started off as. Haven't seen you since you gave up your armor. Where's the little guy? Back with his own folk. I guess we both lost something we were fond of. And something that all of us were fond of. I'm also glad since he's a great actor that he's given more of a chance to shine here. Pike Syndicate has us outnumbered and we need your help. We're square. But I didn't think you were one to back down from bullies. See, that's what I like about you, Mando. That big smile of yours lets you get away with anything. <laughs> Great line. He's not backing down. He wants his help and he's gonna get it. I'll tell you what, things are tough around here, but I'll see what I can do. That's all we want to hear. Love to have them on board. They're doing pretty good for gathering a crew for this war. I want all men and women of fighting age to come to town. I want to have a meeting. Yo, what the heck? That's a pretty wild shot. Gave me some chills. Is that a friend or a foe? Do me a favor and tell these people to head inside for a spell. Something wrong, Marshal? I hope not. Just rather err on the side of safety. Yeah, I mean, if someone's rolling up like that, you better be a little bit worried. I can't exactly tell who it is from the first shot. What's going on, boss? Let me handle this, deputy. This is filmed so well, especially with the music. I'm nervous. My heart's starting to beat fast. I still don't think I recognize that armor or outfit. Dude, incredible shots. This is amazing. This guy looks like he means business. Whatever Fett is paying you will match. And all you've got to do is stay put and let things play out. Yo, what? <laughs> That's mad creepy. Who is this guy? I don't recognize him at all. I love his look. I didn't catch your name. I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose. <laughs> Who is this guy, dude? I would be so scared seeing his face. Brilliant reveal. Boba Fett is a cold-blooded killer who worked for the Empire. You tell your Spice Runners tattooing his clothes for business. This planet's seen enough violence. Yo, shout out to him for standing his ground. Not afraid of anybody. Dude, the editing is so good. I am on edge. No way he dies right after they bring him back. No, dude, did we really just lose him? This guy is quick to the draw. Tatooine belongs to the Syndicate. As long as the spice keeps running, everyone will be left alone. Dang it, dude. Are you kidding me? I liked his character. But I guess this is a good way to introduce another pretty boss character on the opposite side, the villains. Oh, thank goodness the episode's not over. Man, I could watch this forever. The direction they're going with the shows and everything definitely feels like it's more of just a shared universe with different titles, but they're all connected, which I think is the best way to do it. I wonder how the future shows are going to relate. Might I get you something? <laughs> nice, man. They got some musical droids as well. I can't wait to find out more about that guy that we saw. And obviously, if people know of him from other stuff, you can let me know. Uh, uh, wait! You forgot your Captuna! Oh my, dude, things are happening. I can't believe they just blew up that place. That's the first move of war, though. Yes, about time. Let's see what he brought. I'm so glad we get more footage here. The Mandalorian wanted you to have this. That's pretty awesome, man. Armor fit for a Jedi for sure. This is a lightsaber. <laughs> it 
belong to my teacher, Master Yoda. No way, dude, he's gonna get Yoda's lightsaber. I thought it might be a new one. Oh, that's amazing. But you may choose only one. If you choose the armor, you'll return to your friend, the Mandalorian, giving into attachment to those that you love and forsaking the way of the Jedi. Oh man, this is rough making him choose like that. Impossible decision. I don't know what he's gonna choose. Oh, poor little guy. I can't imagine making that decision. Please tell me they show us and don't cut off before. Oh, it was directed by Dave Filoni. Let's go. No wonder it was so well done and written by both him and Jon Favreau. Amazing episode, but I called it, dude. They cut off on a cliffhanger. I have no idea if they're going to show us or wait for a while and then maybe have a surprise reveal of him showing up. Anything could happen. But man, what an absolute joy ride this and the last episode have been. The entire season has been excellent. I have no idea what we're in store for in the last episode or maybe two more again not sure how many there are in the season but this is just making me so ecstatic in anticipation for the rest of the star wars content they have coming out you can definitely tell who was the student of george lucas though out of all the teams that have been working on star wars but dude there were so many great things about this episode i've already talked at length about the incredible stuff with luke and they showed him so much in such detail they were clearly confident in their vfx work whatever they did but for good reason it looked amazing man i'd have to go back and look at the first time he showed up in the mandalorian but i feel like they've improved upon that so man i am on the edge of my seat for next week i cannot wait well i would not make a very good jedi because part of the code is not having any sort of emotional attachment but i'm very emotionally attached to star wars as a whole especially when we get episodes like this it was just incredible from start to finish once again they are knocking it out of the park and i imagine that's just going to continue moving forward and i just double checked and saw that there are in fact only seven episodes in the season and so only one more to go it's gone by too fast because of how amazing it's been but i hope more star wars comes up very soon especially the kenobi one i've been waiting years for that and if it's anything like the quality of the mandalorian and now the book of boba fett that's just going to be astonishing especially to have ewan mcgregor back he was so fantastic in the prequels but i love how revitalized star wars is starting to feel after the mandalorian and this i'm one of the few i guess i don't know how many of us are out there who has loved all of star wars and you can go back to my original video on the channel where i go through all my blu-rays and i talk about star wars that's been my opinion for a while and so it's never really lost its flavor for me I've always been super invested but I think just from what I've gathered online it seems like people are really starting to get more excited about it lately which is a good thing because it probably means we're going to get a lot more Star Wars coming up but man for a little while there I was pretty confident in Boba's ability with his crew to handle the pikes but after that reveal at the end of whoever that assassin is or whatever he is i'm a little bit more nervous going forward especially when they bombed the club as well they mean business and they are not afraid to take some casualties along the way and so maybe the pikes are a little bit more capable than i gave them credit for initially but boba could also maybe elicit the help of some tuscans who would be awesome because we obviously had a lengthy build up with them in the beginning so even though it was just one tribe that he was with I'd imagine that with the material he has he can show them that he's a trusted friend of at least some of the Tuscans and maybe get some more trust there but I have three options in my mind of what will happen going forward with this plot specifically either the next episode is going to be like the length of a full-length movie and we're going to get all the war events 
and all the storylines wrapped up or it could bleed over into a season two of the book of boba fett or my third theory about what could happen is it's going to leave on a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of this but mandalorian season three is actually going to deal with the events of this as well now that he's involved because i saw a lot of comments of people saying the last episode was just the mandalorian season three teaser but clearly they jumped straight back into the information from last episode that they set up and so i feel like they could go anywhere with mandalorian season three whether it's staying on this plot line or not remains to be seen but i cannot wait for the last episode really looking forward to your thoughts on this one and again if you guys know who the person at the end was that showed up on behalf of the pikes if he's someone new or if he's someone that's been featured in comics or books or other shows or whatever Either way, his design is fantastic and he seems like a really intimidating force. And so I hope you all had a really fun time watching along with me for this episode. I had a blast from start to finish. And so I look forward to seeing you all for the next episode next time. And until then, peace.